flat space 2k which let's just boot it up it's a game that's on um, was actually being developed by um, someone I know which is quite interesting um, to see what it's like it's developed by Mark Sheiky who's a artist and programmer and uh, developer musician many different hats he wears in fact um, just double check I'm streaming in a second I'm pretty sure I just clicked that button <laughs> well I better check but, um, yeah I know Mark personally from live from being an artist as well and uh, so it'll be quite interesting to see what one of my mates has produced so I've got like a Darkness at the minute, and then a lot of ambient sounds. Oh, wow, cool. I like the ambient music. It's very 2001. Oh, that's nice. Kind of Doctor Who kind of effect in the book. Very cool. Some asteroids flying through there. Get into it, I suppose. All right, it's got a menu here. Let's go for the Scarred Dominion. Start game. Uh, I guess I'll try standard game. I guess. So that's random. It starts off with Martin Jackson. Uh, I put. I'll make a name up. I think. Doctor Noir. That'll do. I've used that suit him before. Okay, so you got some kind of. Okay, cool. So let's see what Scarred. What races are there? Human, Scarred. Don't know what the difference between those. I'll go for human, I guess. Definitely mercenary, I think, would be cool. Uh, yeah, I'll go for a save game. Easy, because it's my first play. Alright, let's see what happens. Medical. Oh, GP. <laughs> oh, right, cool. Oh, right, so. Uh, so I'm in a spaceship at the minute. I've got. Uh, it's kind of like a top down elite feeling, I suppose. So I think I can. Sh so I'm shooting with the left mouse button and then the right that just helps me move around. I think there's some generative aspects to this game. It's very the sound effects are very retro, which is cool. Which I mean, that's what I was expecting. Let's have a look, see what happens now. Look at I want the controls up. So I better look that up. Oh, so you go into the ship menu, press and escape. Uh, okay, let's see what happens if I do this. I don't want to crash or anything, but ah, oh yeah, okay. It's just kind of just see where I can go off. Let's just have an explore. I think. So it's very nice, uh, even though it's top down, it's kind of got that retro feeling, which I guess would put some people, it's got a certain charm to the graphics actually. I'm just going to have a explore around and see what happens. I probably should have done a tutorial if there is such a thing on the game, but I'm just going into it a bit blind, I suppose. Let's have a look, see what happens. Travel around for a bit. Okay. Let's see if we can get. So it's on this cruise, just me, ship. So look at some of this grey hyperdrive. So info. Uh, core generator. So this looks like a game where you can very much get into a like an RPG, I suppose. You can get into very much a hardcore geek mode with the old um, settings and stuff. 
So we're going to fight this Dr. Gesso. Missions in progress, so I guess I've got none. Uh, I can save from here, I suppose. I'll save it now just for the sake of it. Uh, let's get back. Uh, let's see. So then what else have we got here? Same so then ship. Class Enforcer. So, I guess that's like the standard. So, it's just different. Oh, that's quite it. We do rapid. It's quite an interesting little effect. I'm not quite sure what these things on the left do. Another minute. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Cool. So, uh, space brings up like a. I guess. Ah, this. I mean, if this is like elite, then you can kind of do warp chunks, jumps and stuff. Let's just try and do something like that. So, L space to deactivate the map. Oh, so. I'm not quite sure how I zoom. So these are all out of range, but then how how do I get to there? How do I go? How do I go from here? L. Just turn to label. Oh, that's, that's hyperspace target. Oh, so if I click on that, I need to. I think I probably need to do something of that spaceship. I just don't know what the. Oh, cool. Well, A's does something. Ah, right. D. You can do D for docking. Ah, right. Okay, there we go. R for radio, I guess. Ah, wow. Cool. It's pretty intuitive, actually, the controls. I mean, it's taken me a few seconds to figure that out, but using A. A is like an alarm, I think. Oh, hey, up. Oh, someone's here. Is that an enemy? Oh, shit. Oh, someone doing a hyper room. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. I just had someone there. Uh, I don't know if that, I think that's probably a player, another one of the online players, I guess. Uh, so look. Activate internal communications. Broadcast message to all in range. Transmit a distress call. Nah, I don't know. Oh, cool. That's, that's quite a cool little thing. Uh, so this is, it's, I kind of need like a local map up. I don't know if we can get that up. Target base. Oh, so we need some cool stuff. I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet, but. I'm just kind of clicking buttons to see what happens in a minute. I need to get back to that base. And need some oh, what? I just pressed H. Oh, hyperdrive. Woo! Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Oh man, I've no idea where I am and what happened, but this is fucking cool. Just went to hyperdrive somehow. Uh, now in like a, some kind of murky like I don't know. Don't really know where I am. Let's see if I can mine any of this stuff. I guess. I guess I need to mine this. I don't want to do that too much, but I guess is there any mining and stuff? Uh, no, I don't want to do that, I guess. But let's see if we can do target. Uh, well, I guess a lot of what I want to do is no, no, no. mining stuff. I'm just not sure exactly which how I do this. Uh, okay, so I mean, I've gone out of start sector now. I think of. Oh, that's not a very good idea, was it? Uh, so let's uh, we just have a wander around. That's pretty cool. Distress call, I guess. I have a wander around here. Oh, there's a lot of these kind of. I don't know if I, how I can mine these. Maybe I haven't got the facility yet. That does something, um ah, okay. I wanna try that hyperspace thing again. Oh let's go back to Oh right, this makes more sense now. Um let's just go over here or something might be going on. There's a lot there seems to be a lot of different this has got a like, slightly different atmosphere. Oh the nice ambient music as well. I mean, this kind of seems like it's going to be like elite, except um, 
with a more of a retro kind of feeling to it, I suppose. And top down. An elite game I've played a bit where you can, well, got someone here, is that an alien or are you going to shoot me, mate? I've encountered two enemy ships, well, not enemies, I don't know if they are enemies, but I've encountered two ships so far and they seem to just be mind of their own business. So I'm not sure if they're NPC or um, real players, I suppose. How much do you have, like, fuel and stuff on this? I don't really know where I'm going. I'm wandering a bit aimlessly now, I suppose. I need to kind of... Try a, is there a base anywhere? No. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to target that. Uh, okay, right. I'm getting the hang of this a bit more now. So I think it's a lot of it's about targeting. Let's go back there again. Ah, oh, right. Oh, do I have to like, aim it there, I guess? He's not gonna like me for that. Oh, it's asteroid field. Oh, nice. I might try and just blast some people, but oh, I'm gonna die. I've arrived on an asteroid field. I guess I can mine stuff in. Ah, oh, wow, it's pretty cool. There's a bit of skill involved here because you've got to dodge around things. Get the uh, old axis of control right. I mean, I guess this game's going to be a lot like elite in the sense of, ah, oh, shit, in the, the sense you have to really play around in it a few hours to get the feeling for, ah, shit. Only thing I'd say so far is there seems to, even though there's objects in the space, a lot of the time there seems to just be empty space, which is, it's fine, but it kind of gets a bit, ah, well, we've got a base here. Oh, it's pick of the devil, we've got a police station. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can talk to these guys. Nominal? That's bad, isn't it? No, no. Scan this. Where do I get my scan report then? See, uh, let's try and, I need. I think I need to activate these somehow, but no, hang on. Right, F1. Ah. Uh, oh, let's try docking. Ah, let's try docking. So this is docking now. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Dock in the police station. They've got no crew no weapon, which is good. Look for missions. Uh, okay, let's go for my first mission. Takeshi Martini will pay $2,150 upon delivery of statues to the police outpost ABV 52 Moby Dick. Cargo space required one ton. Go for that then. So I just need to find a 10-6. Okay, let's go for that. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I think a lot of this is generated as well, so this should be quite... Launch, what's that do? Oh, that's launches off, I guess. Uh, I don't have any money, so... Launch off. So where do I need to go again? Missions in progress. 10, oh, 10 6. Let's go. 10 6. This is probably going to be a bit further out here. Something like this right here and I have to drive there. Oh shit, what's going on? What's in range? Oh, that's out of range. That's in range, so I'll just hyper drive there. And then, 
again. Oh, French. Yeah, I mean, it is. Even though it's. Oh, okay, I have to charge a bit. Oh, that's my hyperdrive. That, that on the. That there is a hyperdrive. Alright. That's a. Not like. I think that bunch of balls down there is a hyperdrive. Yeah, it's in yellow now, so. That's nine. You can't hear someone. Alright, so. What do we need to do? It'll be interesting to see how much variation there is, I suppose, in the in the missions and stuff you can have. Oh, it's 10-8 there, so... So, we need to be going there further this direction. It's just 10-8 is... This is 10 to 1. I think I need to be going further up here somewhere. Well, all these are out of range, there's anything. I probably need a better ship, I think, for them. Right, let's just go as far up as I can. Travel on. Oh! There's a spaceship there. There might be an enemy, I'm not sure. Let's see if they attack me, I guess. Alright. I think most people, well, if those are other players, I guess they are. Then they seem alright. No one's attacked me yet. I guess you get different people who do different things. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if they're NPCs or uh, actual living people. Uh, okay, so I'm just get this 10 8 must be up here somewhere, I guess. I'm just get if it's going. 11.15, 11, 11.16, 11, so it's got to be, yeah, we're up here somewhere, we have to just go up one by one. Let's see what some of these dudes are up to. Scan them, target, scan. What's that then? Uh, what do you get? I need to figure out how to save this lesson before doing anything else. Save. Okay. That's in range. So. Oh. That's where I am now. I think if we go up here, it might be close to. But where is the. Okay. Let's go this way. I think it just needs to be going across and across and across, I guess. Ah, it's got a bit more. Ah, oh, it's out of range as well. Explore this bit with a bit. A lot of this so far seems to be you've got these smaller areas and you can just. I mean, I guess they're going to attack this guy, but it looks like a much beefier ship than mine, and I'm not really. I don't think it would be a good idea, to be honest. Uh, there's a few of these ships around, but they, don't, they seem to be very friendly, so that's good. But... Uh, okay, right. That's out of range. Get a hyperdrive to there. Ah, it's almost there. I think it's done now. It's on green, so... Oh, sweet! Well, oh, that's a busy area. I'm kind of going to the right kind of area now. It's 10 6 and anything. Uh, okay, right, um, let's try and give a few more thoughts on it and stuff.
So I'm floating around now. I mean, I've, been, I've got a mission now, which is good. So we're in about half an hour. I've kind of got a sense of or whatever it's been 20 minutes, half an hour. I've got a sense of where I'm going, what I'm doing. It took me a while to figure out the controls. It wasn't immediately obvious. It probably would have been useful to have uh, prompts for those, but there might be a tutorial. So I don't know if uh, I might be jumping to conclusions there because I could have, probably could have done a tutorial. Let's just actually see if there is one. Save that. Save that game. It's my main game. And uh, I'll just quit again. Oh, I've got guilds as well. Yeah. The glorious dead. Oh, too well killed, I guess. So options. Let's see what options we got in here. Let's load this up. Yeah, there's another there's tutorial. That's definitely, I think, one thing that this game. Oh, I've got four thousand crowns. Oh, almost five pounds. I think one thing that this benefit from actually is a tutorial, just in terms of thinking about initial games. But I mean, it is. It's. It's actually quite fun. There's a little bit of an exploratory element, um, which is alright. I mean, like the, you've, I need, I would. I have, I mean, it's it's quite strange that like none of the other ships have interacted with me, but I guess that's. Oh, well, what's this? What the hell's that? What the hell is that? It's like a UFO, classic UFO. Try scanning it. Octoblord. To try shoot it. I mean, that's probably a bad idea, but I could just do it anyway. Oh, let's fuck it. Let's go for it. Oh shit! It damaged my hard drive. Ah! He's got much but a gun. Fuck it! I'm gonna kill. Try and kill someone. Like get David and Goliath, this. He's not even bothering attacking me anymore. Oh, there you go. Ah! He's kind of warning me off, isn't he? Woo! Let's get out of here. Ha 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 ha. Get out of here. Shit, oh no, it's damaged. Shit. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh no, that machine gun's damaged. Oh man, this guy is. I've been an idiot and he screwed me up now. Well, the hyperdrive's damaged, so I don't even think we can do anything about that. Uh, Oh right, cool. Oh yeah, see so get these now. Oh, actually, right, so can. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. I didn't realise that. Ah, right. Okay, this is getting making more sense. Uh, How do I get. Uh, how do I repair stuff? Oh, no. try to take it on. There we go. Price could have cost to repair a thousand, so how do I get to the. I've still got enough money to repair it, but how do I get onto it? How do I get flying somewhere? Oh man, I can't. I hope we don't have to fly. What's the nearest base, I guess? A cool fighter craft. Drowning in the fog. It's down, isn't it? Look at me going all mercenary. Didn't really pay off that. <laughs> now, kind of stranded, I guess. So then it's fine. The local map, I mean, where am I now? Uh, so here, I think so. Yeah, hyperdrive damage, I'm gonna find a base. 
I mean, that, well, that's definitely one thing, actually, is it? Like, I'm in a situation now, I'm damaged, but, I mean, how long is it going to take me to find a base? Um, I might just load my old game, actually. Yeah, fuck it. Solid. Um, just quit it. I made the old one before I did that silly act. <laughs> kind of getting a... Now I'm getting a bit more of a flavour for it. So this is a hybrid drive isn't screwed up. Uh, let's go here. Oh, slightly. So there seems to be like a bit variation, I guess, in the backgrounds. Obviously, colour-wise, you've got them clouds, um, which is pretty cool. Um, the graphics themselves are obviously kind of... It's got a retro feeling throughout the game. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to see if I need to do... I'm trying to get the message, message to me, so... I think I've realised, I've kind of figured out how to scan things better now, which is cool. When objects and people come by. I'm trying to get back to that mine if I can. So let's go there. I'm just going to explore a bit now, I think. Oh, it's hard for this to draw this uh, charging. Doesn't seem to be much around here, it seems like an empty space. Actually. Um, yeah, I think, like I was saying, I'm, in some parts, I like there to be more debris, I suppose. I don't know if, I mean, I've, I've only been playing this obviously for a few minutes, so I don't know how. No, it's out of range, it's out of range. I'm just here, so. That was what I was looking for. Shit, yeah, let's just try and get more into the sky. Okay. Oh, oh, way up. That's a nice row. 1116, let's try and get to me. Oh, I'm just trying to find out what they're doing. This, the drive, I don't know, I guess that the drive efficiency changes with time, but um, at the minute it takes a while to charge, which I guess is what, I mean, I guess that will be an incentive in the game to get better hyperdrives and stuff, or just charge faster and faster, as it's a, you know, do 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 do, just wait for that to charge and set my phone while I'm waiting for that. Needs to go off, off, off. So, oh, we've got a ship there. Hopefully, not a bad one. So, let's go on that. Uh, there's a few more ships around here. Let's go again. I thought we'll have a drop to charge. Buzz around while I'm doing that. A oh, scan of this, maybe. I mean, actually. I'm going to try to compare this to Elite because I've played Elite quite a lot. Obviously, this is a very different beast to Elite, and I mean, as far as I know, it's actually a one dev game. I mean, I think pretty much more or less now. I think he, well, I said in the credits he had help some of the artistic stuff, but it seems essentially it's uh, pretty much uh, Mark is being responsible for this. So, but um, this is, yeah, it's quite, it's pretty impressive for the fact that. This is Mark's baby, and uh, it's actually like the, the actual, I mean I think it's generative as well. This game, so that 
is alone is a pretty impressive thing. Uh, and there is, but let's um, I'm gonna be constructor in this because I know Mark. Um, um, I like the overall dynamic so far. I need I kind of um, the graphics are do what they do well, I guess, and uh, the musical incidental stuff's quite cool. I've got a mission. I mean, within a few minutes, I've kind of figured out. Well, within about 20, 15, 20 minutes, I've figured out controls, basic mechanics. Um, the R eight, the R for radio, T for targeting is quite intuitive, so that's very good. I mean, it, like it's taken me about 30, 40 minutes to go. All oh, right, that's how you do it. Um, but that's pretty much standard in any game. So that you know, just, so they usually just target radio. Uh, you can transmit a message then. Request because you your business. <laughs> you get a bit more character than I guess with some of these ships. I just need to go up a few more. I'm almost there, really. So I'll join there. I mean, this. I guess this will change once I've got a more powerful hyperdrive and this stuff. But then having to go for these sectors. Well, I mean, I'm kind of like liking and not liking this. Having to spend ages waiting for your drive to charge at the minute. In a way, it creates a sense of anticipation, but then in another way, it creates a long time, a lot of time, just like you know, ten or fifteen minutes, just travelling around. I'd rather, I, would, I think, in a way, it would be better if I could just jump three or four or five quadrants at once. Uh, I guess, obviously, I'm starting out, so it's hard to tell how that will change in time. Um, but I mean, and obviously, this isn't as exciting in terms of visually or like in the way it's presented as um, Elite is because, well, I mean. On the most basic level, Elite is a game which has got um, probably hundreds of people in the dev crew, and it's a very ambitious and incredible game. But in terms of how this works, it's it's uh, so I just need to. I mean, all I need to do now is find that. It's so almost there to 10 now. This is very intuitive with the grid system, so that's not like hard to pick up. It's just that's really obvious in terms of the actual interface. That's good. The incidental music. Uh, you've only got these like ambient. Ambient escapes, I guess. With a kind of, I mean, it's again, it's a very retro sci-fi feel to it. It's not like Elite, where it's kind of, I guess, a kind of dark. I don't know. I'm just making the Elite comparison because it's the most obvious one to make, I guess. Um, uh, in terms of the new Elite, I've never played the classic Elite because of course a bit before my time. Okay, so we're almost there now, so I just need to give up two more. I need this charge, but there's two more ships around here. I'll, I'll go down there and tap them while I'm waiting. Oh, it's a police enforcer. Oh, it's a police enforcer, so you can't tell me what you're doing. This. Sad pony. Right, sad pony, that's one name for a police car. I guess some of these names are generated as well. A, E, X, S, E, S, Oh, straight in there. That's someone, that's police. Police officer. Oh shit, what was that? Oh, was that someone boosting off then? It must have been. Quite exciting. Anyway, I've got only one more jump to go. Let's... Entrepreneur. Hmm, what did they do? Continue. Let's go up. Let's go up there. Oh, but I'll uh, play this for a bit longer now. And then just uh, sign off, I guess. But it's quite an interesting game. Um, I mean, it's, I think I've probably got a lot more to explore in it. I haven't even ex started exploring trading and stuff yet because I'm just doing my first mission and then I'll figure out a lot better how it works than after that. Like I said, I've never really played the Classic Elite, so I don't fully understand how all the dynamics work for that. Then. Uh, so, what's the mission I have to do? Uh, oh, it's 10 6. Oh, I've got a messed up there. I don't know. I could have sworn it was 10 8. Oh, uh, let's just target that. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can do anything to it. I guess I can't mine it. I'm not sure how that works. It won't let me. Um, I don't know if they're like different ships. Oh! I mean, the asteroids build up here. Get out of the way. Some of the asteroids. So you do. I mean, you, I suppose you do have a bit of a. Oh, no. It's not that. So I think. No, I'm on the right track. I need to go up there. Oof. Oof. Good. A glacing blow from that then. Let's hyperdrive into that. 
That might be in an astral field still. Yep, and all this seems a bit less hectic. There we go. And the code sounds. 10 6 is running to be the space the station that it's meant to get. Oh, someone's having a fight. Check that out while I'm waiting. That's great. I mean, you kind of get that sound effects of people in the background having a fight, so it kind of tells you something's going on. As you'd expect, obviously. But I just need to find the ship. The uh, I still haven't figured out where the local map is actually. So I need to figure. Let's try and get this mission done and start log it off. Another day on the job Flying in my spaceship I've gotta drop off some mining stuff Oh, oh, oh Where is the sh where is the base? Oh Save this and answer See about joining some guilds soon if I oh. Ah, oh yeah, that's probably where I need to go. I'll get that. Yeah, that's the one. Dock in there. Let's just get me. Uh, yes! Complete my first mission. Let's look for some missions. No outstanding crimes. Yes. Look for missions. Oh, wow, cool. Sculpture, Swift Journey. Oh, so you can do I'm gonna look at the different kinds of missions you got now. So we've got a bit more missions from here, I'll just take something on. Um so I'll get a lot of money for capturing an enemy. I don't know how you find that enemy there. I'm gonna do swift journeys, I guess, which are like I guess travelling somewhere very fast. Oh I guess it's like an escort thing. Um what I'll do now actually is I'll just save it and just stay here while I'm here. Yeah, I'll stay save it here. And then I'll I'll uh, I quit it because I don't really want this to be like, too long. I just want to give like a first impressions kind of thing. So first impressions, um, I mean this this game was never gonna, I think, try and be elite, as in like well I mean it probably compares a lot to the original elite, um, but it was never gonna be the the elite um, as it is now. Um, but it's kind of it's got an interesting feeling to it. Um, the music, the, the, there's a kind of retro aesthetic that goes throughout. Um, the graphics are, f are functional, quite imaginative. Sometimes some of the ship designs are very interesting. The music um, also has similarly as a kind of arcade retro feel, which does give it a nice flavour actually. Um, but yeah, like again, as I said, very different elite. The controls are intuitive. I kind of picked it up as you'll have seen within the first few minutes, which is useful. And uh, yeah, it's, like, it's quite an enjoyable game. I mean, it's probably one. I think it's probably a game that you'd need to uh, play for a while before you really get into it. You know, it's it's like um, it's one that you'd have to play for a significant amount of time before you're really uh, gonna get the full flavour of it. I haven't really explored combat that much yet, um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I, um, Enjoyed myself playing it for those. What was it? Might have been 40 minutes, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend for downloading it. It's um, how much is it? I think it's not really that expensive. Actually, on Steam, it's a few quid. I think it's like six or seven quid. Um, and like from knowing Mark, I know that he's did put a lot of effort into it and a lot of uh, work. And uh, yeah, it's worth checking out. Like I said, don't go into, don't buy it expecting. The, um, something that's like Elite, it's kind of a comparable version done in a more retro fashion I suppose so yeah I mean if you're into space exploration games or especially kind of like games with a retro feel I'd say check it out 
Um, I might do like a ref uh, another video after I've played this game for a bit more and kind of got more of the feeling of it. Go on a few missions and stuff, but uh, yeah. Uh, if you've been watching, cheers for watching. Um, hope well, if you see this mark, I hope yeah you enjoy my playthrough and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've been Noah Vortex. Um, cheers for watching. If you've been watching the stream in a bit, bye.